Reading my TikTok comments, Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League Edition. So yesterday at PlayStation State of Play event, we finally got to see some actual gameplay of Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League. Now, people's reactions were kind of mixed. You know, with the game being a live service, four-player co-op, having a battle pass, all that. Even seeing the actual gameplay didn't really seem to... I don't know, it didn't really give people what they were looking for, I guess you could say. The gameplay we saw showed us a lot of just shooting enemies, which I guess people didn't really expect or want. But, yeah. Anyway, let's get into the comments. So in this TikTok video, I asked, what are your concerns for Suicide Squad, Kill the Justice League, after seeing the gameplay? Alright, first comment I see. That is going to be trash, and basically DC's equivalent to Marvel's Avengers game. Yeah, this is pretty much everyone's reaction to seeing this game. And I can understand why, because it does look ex like exactly like it, just except it's a DC version of it. But I do think it has one major thing going for, the, for it that, um, that Avengers didn't have, and that it's made by Rocksteady, the people behind the Arkham series. So, as long as I, I know that, I have at least some hope for it, and that it won't end up being like it. Second comment I see... Looks like Agents of Mayhem, Crackdown, and pretty much uh, other generic games. Plus, it's annoying to see the shoot, the big purple weak spots nowadays. Yeah, I, I agree on that, especially the last uh, part of that comment. Because, like, it just looks like we're going to be fighting waves of enemies. Waves of these generic, brainiac-looking enemies with the occasional brute and a few tanks here and there. But, like, other than that, it doesn't seem like... Is going to be much variety to the enemies, except for the Justice League, of course. There's zero reason Captain Boomerang and King Shark should be using guns. Yeah, this is a shooter game, so... Well, I don't know. They're all, like, enemies, right? So, like, using guns isn't really out of the ordinary, but I get why, because, like, Captain Boomerang, he uses boomerangs. He still uses boomerangs in his game, but he uses it, like, for the majority of, like, teleportation or, um getting around like that's his movement because he has a speed force gauntlet and i guess he kind of connected that to his boomerangs and he just throws it and wherever the boomerang goes he goes next comment dude f this yeah no i'm not impressed i'm not gonna spend 70 dollars for this looks like this dude made up his mind it's too much of an avengers and fortnite mix you know i could see the <laughs> i can see the fortnite um comparisons honestly just because how vibrant it is it should have more melee comment at least i mean come on it's from the devs that made arkham yeah i i agree from what it looks like it looks like the majority is going to be shooting like i said i heard king shark would be the best will be the best for melee combat but like i really hope well i can't say i hope because i don't know like i don't know if it's gonna be like this but it would be cool to see some arkham style combat you know some free flow i guess you could say the robots we gotta fight look generic and boring to fight. Also, they all use guns. See, everybody's talking about the guns. Yeah, like I said, they all do look generic and they'll get boring to fight after um, after a while. Yeah, but it is a shooter after all, so can't really complain much. Uh, next comment. It's only it's online only, even in single player. So it means that a game you paid money for, uh, the service can get shut down and you can't play it anymore. Yeah, see, that sucks right there. Well, I don't know if the service should shut down. I, that might be true because it is online. Like they said, they they confirmed that you need online or well, internet connection to play the game, even if you're playing by yourself, which sucks. Like I don't know why games do that, game developers do that, but yeah, it it sucks. Because if the game gets shut down, then you might not actually be be able to play anymore unless they do something to change it. I think it'll play well, but the online aspect of it is gonna be trash. Yeah, I guess that goes with the comment of what I just said. Yeah, it seems like, to me, this game is going to be, it seems like they went for a more online aspect. Like, it's better to play online than by yourself, which I'd rather play by myself, honestly. <laughs> like, be I'd rather be a more story-based game rather than being it tailored to online specifically. Like, I, I guess Gotham Knights, that's one thing it did better than this, is what it seems like. Even I don't know, the game hasn't come out yet, but... Like, the game, you could play by yourself, but if you did, it didn't really feel like you were playing alone. Even though it did at the same time, because you, could, you didn't see any of the other characters. It's, it's hard to say. I hope if they have outfits in the game, they can be unlocked and not uh, only my microtransactions. Yeah, I hope so too. Like, I hope they unlock just all the best skins into the Battle Pass. Like, we saw a Wonder Woman skin, 
in the gameplay they showed the other day and like I'll be mad if that for example is locked into a battle pass and they just give us a bunch of I guess like you know generic looking outfits crazy me how everyone crying in these comments for no reason the game looks heat cry babies you love the hate yeah I can I mean I can understand both sides of it because we've seen this story unfold before you know with kinda with Gotham Lights and mostly with uh, Marvel's Avengers so I can understand why people are mad, but we almost we really shouldn't assume too much. We shouldn't just associate this to Marvel's Avengers because of how similar they look, especially with the fact that they're made by different developers. Again, why does Captain Boomerang have a gun? Man, these comments is hilarious. Looks like it plays like Guardians of the Galaxy, which is not a bad thing. It was a good game. Yeah, underrated, like this guy said. Um, I think. Uh, People, like, I think the first trailer that they released, I didn't, I don't remember, I didn't watch it, but from what I saw, that trailer gave people a bad impression of the game, and when the game came out, it was actually good, better than, like, the Marvel's Avengers game, and it was just too late, I guess, at that point, and a lot of people didn't, even just didn't pick it up, but I, get, I think the general consensus is that that game is good, it's pretty good, it's not, I haven't really heard any bad things about it, other than the fact that you only play a Star-Lord, but... That makes it, again, I think that's what makes it better than Marvel's Avengers is that it's a story based game and you don't need to really switch between characters that much. Why are they all flying? Bro, they can all defy gravity, man. I don't know. It looks fun though, so I'm not going to complain. But, because it would suck if, like, you can only have Deadshot with his jetpack just flying around and everybody else is running on the ground. It would suck. But, I think it's cool because it just speeds up the gameplay. It looks chaotic, which it should be because it's the Suicide Squad. But yeah, that's going to be all the comments for this video. If you want to see another video or part two, maybe uh, just let me know. And uh, if you got anything else to say, uh, just let me know in the comments of this video and might be included in the next video. But uh, yeah, like the video if you like it. Subscribe. See you in the next one.